So if you've used Prezi for some time now, you'll know that adding frames around content is the best way to create the flow of your presentation and to also group content together. So that rather than trying to move lots of individual elements, you can click on the frame, move the frame and everything inside it will move along with it at the same time. That also applies if you want to shrink elements down and make them smaller or blow things up and make them much, much bigger. Now sometimes you may add a frame around your content and get it in slightly the wrong position. Maybe you've made your frame slightly too small, too big, or it's just off to the left or the right. And uh, if you've got your perfectionist hat on, of course you want to make sure everything is nice and central so that your audience gets a really good view of the content. Now for a long, long time there has been a little secret uh, to help you do this much, much easier than deleting the frame and having to add a new one. I don't know why it's been such a big secret, but for some reason Prezi has never created uh, a button that enables you to release the frame from the content and make small adjustments, um, but it is very, very easy to do. So let me show you how to do that right now. Okay, so what you can see I have here is a Prezi with just a couple of images in and what I want to do is start my Prezi from here and then zoom out to this second point. Uh, obviously I'll add a lot more content in the final design but for this video I just want to show you the basis of how this works. So I'm going to grab an invisible frame from the top left hand corner and drag that onto my canvas. This is the same way you would normally work, whether you're using a, an invisible or a bracket frame. Make that a bit larger, let's zoom out a bit, and let's just drop it in place. And then let's move out to our second position, and let's drag and drop another invisible frame, and we'll put this one in place as well. And then we'll just click off of that. There we go. Now, if I hit the present button and we go to path point one, you can see that it's not really ideal. We're, we're actually far too close to the Prezi logo. Uh, I'd actually like that whole logo to be a bit more central to the screen. Uh, the title that says what is, is a little bit um, over to the left hand side as well. So I do need to adjust the position of that opening frame. If I go back into edit mode quickly, the very first thing that we'd think to do, of course, is to click on the invisible frame and then try to resize it. But as we do that, the content inside moves as well. So this top secret Prezi tip that I'm gonna give you is very, very simple. Before you select your frame, hold on to the Alt button on your keyboard. That's the button to the left or the right of your spacebar. Keep that button held down then click on your frame and that will release the frame from the content and you can resize the frame. You can make it as big or as small as you want to, but the content that's on your Prezi canvas will actually stay put. There we go. So I'm going to do something like that. Now if I hit the present button, go to path point one, you can see I've got a much nicer view of that Prezi logo. It doesn't kind of blow up uh, onto the whole screen. Uh, that's a much better uh, way to present the opening title. So very, very simple. All I did there was in edit mode before I click on the frame, hold on to the Alt key on the keyboard, then select the frame and you're actually free to adjust that however you want to. Uh, another little tip as well here actually is when you're adjusting your frames, always resize them by dragging the corners. That will just mean that you keep the correct screen ratio, whether that's 16 by 9 or 4 by 3.